I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. We serve a good God and He is with us always. It is Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and it's so good to be with you today, my dear friend. It is another day that we've got by the grace of God and we will press on. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. My dear friend, today we'll be doing something different. We're going to be doing daily scripture confessions for victory and protection. Yes, that's right. You can play this daily and you can confess along with it. And this will be confessing the scripture so that you will make it through. My dear friend, it's so important in the toughest times that we may face that we get the scripture in us. And no matter what you may be facing right now while you're listening to this, as you confess and you get the scripture in you and you release and speak what the scripture says, things will begin to change. And the reason why is we as born again believers have power in our tongue. As we speak, we can release life or we can release death. So it's so important that we understand and know what we are confessing. So today we're going to do scripture confessions in line with the word of God. And I know, I trust, I believe you will be blessed. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with a bit of praise. We're going to praise God in our own words. And as we discern the presence of God, then we'll go into a time when we begin to make these confessions and they will begin to affect your life. In the beginning in the Bible, God only spoke after the Holy Spirit was on the scene. So it's so essential that we wait for the presence of God to become evident and available to us. We need to wait until we discern the presence of God and then we begin to confess. And that is when it begins to make an impact. So in saying that, let us begin to praise him. Father, you are our God. We praise you. We glorify your name. We lift up your name. You have given us another day that we can seek you. You've given us another day to live and to press on and to touch the hem of your garment. It is by your grace and your mercy that we will keep on going. And it is by that same grace that we will make it through. We will make it through any situation that may come our way. We know, we trust, we believe whatever may come our way, we will come out shining in the name of Jesus. We give you praise and we thank you. You are a glorious God. You're a good God. You're an amazing God. We love you. And today we lift up your name. Be glorified in our lives. As we speak and we confess, empower us. Put power on our tongues that we may speak your word and it may come to pass in our lives. That we may confess in line with your word. And as we confess, those confessions will go out and break down every barrier, every limitation and open doors that need to be open and shut doors of evil where the devil is robbing from us. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. Now we're going to begin with the confessions. And even as we go into a time when we start to speak in line with the word of God, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come Lord Holy Spirit, come and take over control. Touch me, change me and empower me as I make these confessions that are in line with your word. Take me to a greater glory. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is to comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you and is going to take you to a greater glory. So in saying that, let us begin to make these confessions. Now what I'll do is the Holy Spirit has given me certain confessions and these are in line with various different scriptures that I've taken from the Bible. And what I'll do is I'll begin by reading that scripture and then we'll say the confessions that the Holy Spirit has given me. So without any further delay, let us begin. The first one is from the book of Exodus chapter 14 from verse 13 to verse 14. It says, And Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will work for you today. For the Egyptians whom you see today, you shall never see again, and the Lord will fight for you, and you only have to be silent. Now let's make this confession. Here's the first one. No matter what may come my way, I will make it through. Say, no matter what may come my way, I will make it through in the name of Jesus. The second one, I will just wait and trust in God. 
Say this out loud. Say it with me. Say, I will just wait and I will trust in God and God will deliver me in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is true, my dear friend. God will deliver you and he'll take you to a greater glory. Now, the next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 40 from verse 29 to verse 31. It says he gives power to the faint and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youth shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Now say this with me, my dear friend. Say, God will increase my strength as I put my trust in him. Say it out loud. Say it one more time. Say, God will increase my strength as I put my trust in him. Now let's make another confession. I will trust in God. Say that one more time. I will trust in God. One more time and make it personal. Say, I will trust in my God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 41 from verse 10 to verse 11. It says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Behold, all who are incensed against you shall be put to shame and confounded. Those who strive against you shall be as nothing and perish. Hallelujah. Now let's make these confessions. God is with me. Say that out loud. Say, God is with me. He will help me and uphold me. Say that and mean it with all of your heart. He will help me and he will uphold me. It is so important that we know that God is with us and he is helping us. Right now, it might seem like he is far away. There are times and there are situations when you cannot discern the presence of God. But that does not mean he is not with you. He is with you because the Bible says he will never leave you. He will never ever forsake you. So it doesn't matter how you feel. It doesn't matter if you feel far from God. As long as you have given your life to Jesus and you put your trust in God, he is with you. Now the next one, any situation or evil that comes against me shall be put to shame. Say that out loud. Say any situation or evil that comes against me shall be put to shame in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the next one is from the book of Isaiah chapter 43 from verse 2. It says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you and through the rivers, they will not overwhelm you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned and the flame shall not consume you. Now, let's make our confessions. The waters will not sweep me over. Say that and say it out loud. Say the waters will not sweep me over and the flame shall not consume me. Say that and mean it. Say the flame shall not consume me. When it talks about the waters and the flame, it's talking about those tough situations. So say this out loud. Say tough situations will not overcome me. God will see me through. Now in line with that, the next confession I want us to do together is no matter what trying time may come against me, I shall make it in the name of Jesus. Say that out loud. No matter what trying time may come against me, I will make it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My dear friend, the next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 10. It says, For the mountains may depart and the hills may be removed, but my steadfast love shall not depart from you, and my covenant of peace shall not be removed, says the Lord, who has compassion on you. Now say these confessions out loud and mean them. There's three of them. God's steadfast love will not depart from me. Say that out loud. Say it and mean it. God's steadfast love will not depart from me. The next one. Nothing can stop the Lord from loving me. The third and a very powerful one is I will not let guilt discourage me. Say that out loud and mean it. Say I will not let guilt discourage me and make me think that God will stop loving me in the name of Jesus. Now the next scripture is from the book of Romans chapter 8 from verse 35 to verse 39. It says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword as it is written? For your sake we are being killed all day long. We are regarded as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angel, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else 
in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. Now let us make these confessions. There's two of them. Nothing can separate me from the love of God in Christ. Say that out loud. Say nothing can separate me from the love of God in Christ. Say that out loud. Say nothing can separate me from the love of God in Christ. Now the second one, nothing can make Jesus stop loving me. Say that out loud and mean it. Say nothing can make Jesus stop loving me. Say it one more time, my dear friend, and mean it with all of your heart. Nothing can make Jesus stop loving me. Now, the next scripture is from the book of Isaiah chapter 54 from verse 17. It says, No weapon that is fashioned against you shall succeed, and you shall refute every tongue that rises against you in judgment. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their vindication from me declares the Lord. My dear friend, let's say this and let's mean it. Nothing that comes against me to do harm will succeed. Say it and mean it. Say it one more time. Nothing that comes against me to do harm will succeed. Now the next one. No curse sent against me will succeed. No curse sent against me will manage to come over me. Say that out loud and mean it. Say no curse that is sent against me will manage to come over me. Now the last but not the least one. My vindication comes from God. Say that out loud and mean it. Say my vindication comes from God. Now the next scripture is from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 31 from verse 8. It says, It is the Lord who goes before you and he will be with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Do not fear or be dismayed. My dear friend, there are two confessions from this scripture and let us say them and say them with all of your heart. The first one, God has gone before me and he is fighting for me. My dear friend, God has gone before you, so confess it and mean it. God has gone before me and he is fighting for me. The next one, I will not be afraid and I will not be discouraged. Say that out loud and mean it. Say, I will not be afraid and I will not be discouraged in the name of Jesus. The next scripture is from the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. My dear friend, there are two confessions that we need to say from here. And it's so important that we confess these. God has great plans for me. And that's true, my dear friend. God has great plans for you. Say it out loud. God has great plans for me. Now the next one. I will not be discouraged because God will fulfill those plans. Say, I will not be discouraged because God will fulfill those plans that he has for me. The next scripture is from the book of John chapter 8 from verse 36. It says, So if the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Now let's say this confession out loud. Say, Jesus has set me free and that freedom is permanent and guaranteed. Say it out loud one more time. Say, Jesus has set me free and that freedom is permanent and it's guaranteed. Say it one more time. Say, Jesus has set me free and that freedom is permanent and it's guaranteed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The next one is from the Gospel of Mark chapter 11 from verse 24. It says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Now let's make this confession together. After I ask, I will believe as though I have received it and I know that it will be mine. Say that out loud. After I ask, I will believe as though I've received it and I know that it will be mine in the name of Jesus. Now the next scripture, my dear friend, is from the book of Joshua chapter 1 from verse 9. It says, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Now let's make these confessions and let's mean them. I will be strong and courageous even in this time because God is with me. Say it out loud and say it one more time. I will be strong and courageous even in this time because God is with me. Now the next one, I will not be frightened and I will not be dismayed because God is with me. The last but not the least scripture is from the book of Philippians chapter 4 from verse 19. It says, And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ. Now let's make the confession. It's the last one. So even as you say it, say it and mean it with all of your heart. I will not worry. God will supply all my needs. Say that and mean it. Say, I will not worry. 
because God will supply all of my needs. Say it one more time. I will not worry because God will supply all of my needs. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. As you have spoken of your life, so let it be and may you go to a greater glory. As you have spoken in line with the word and you have put your trust in the word of God, you are standing on the solid rock and you will not fall. No matter what situation may come against you, my dear friend, you will not fall in the name of Jesus. I speak a blessing over you and your family. As you have put your trust in the word of God, you will be preserved and you're going to go to a greater glory. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. Until tomorrow, my dear friend, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.